Anambra State Government has taken delivery of relief materials and farm seedlings donated by a non-governmental organization, Whitefield Foundation, for those affected by flooding in Anambra State. Governor Chukuma Saludo took delivery of the materials handed over to him at Anambra State Emergency Management Agency, SEMA, in Orca. Correspondent Ngozi Ubleri reports. Items donated to Anambra State Government by Whitefield Foundation include two trailer loads of cassava stems, rice seedlings, 500 packs of fruit juice, 500 packs of bottled water, beverages, rice, beans, salt, malaria drugs, multivitamin drugs, water purifier, among others. Taking delivery of the items, Governor Saludo represented by his deputy, Dr. Onye Kachuku Ibezim, who commended Whitefield Foundation and Coca-Cola Brewery, as well as Nigerian Bottling Company, who provided the funds for the items said it is part of their corporate social responsibilities not just when there are situations like this year's flooding but at intervals saying that in the number are their major customers governor soludoku used the opportunity to appreciate all other groups and individuals who have supported the victims through donations and words of advice explained that the effect of the disaster was contained early enough because of the measures he implemented using all agencies and departments in the state while saying that anambra state government will continue to monitor the situation of those affected until they are stable. Governor Soludo promised that the items would be distributed to the targeted persons and families, praying that such situation never occurs again. So the test of the body is in the beauty. So we have come here to confirm that what we are hearing is real. So we are finding a lasting solution. But before that, what we are doing now is what should be done. So I want to thank you for coming to our aid, and uh, I've seen the materials we brought up. Earlier while presenting the materials to the governor, the executive secretary, Sir Master Paul Odenibo, briefed the governor on the arrangement so far in terms of distribution of the materials, as he said that communities in Obaru and Okanov council areas took delivery of their own share, while they have plans to be sharing it to communities per day. Today, we call you again to come and witness the distribution of relief materials donated to state government. The chief executive officer of Whitefield Foundation, Mrs. Femi Johnson, and Wamaka Onyemelukwe, who is the director for public affairs, communications, and sustainability, Coca-Cola, said they came to Anambra before now to ascertain the level of devastation and communities that are worst hit, and discovered that Anambra topped the list of the states affected. They said that the visit opened their eyes on areas that needed intervention and how to go about it, saying that the seedlings would ensure sustained food production, while the food items would take care of their immediate feeding. It's, a, it's, a, it's an initiative to help elevate poverty and we believe this will help. So the plan is if we are able to reach 2,500 families, each family having an average of six, automatically we have reached at least 15,000. We can't reach the whole world but we have started. The President General of Akili Ogidi, Owaru Council Area, Comrade Mike Chukusa of the ABS and Obo Family in Okanov Local Government Area, Mr. Emenike Mwakeze, appreciated the donors and Anambra State Government for the humanitarian role they played in giving back hope to the hopeless. In Oka, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News.